Hi everyone, welcome to researchmd.com. We're going to have another um, biostatistical topic today and we're going to talk about the parametric test. Um, today our topic again parametric My name is Pramil Charat. I'm a program director in internal medicine residency, transitional residency. I teach medical students and medical residents. I'm also director of research. So let's look what parametric tests are. So when do we use parametric? The assumption is that the data has to be normal distribution. That means mean, median, and mode equal to the same, okay? So the data, the number one, first thing you can do is like put your data on like a histogram, and you should get an histogram just like to that. That's a normal distribution, okay? And then you can use the parametric test. If the data is not <clears throat> normally distributed, then you have to think about the non-parametric test, okay? So your hypothesis testing, parametric test versus non-parametric test. Today, our job is to make sure to teach you all about like what are the uh, parametric uh, tests out there. So when you look at the parametric test, there's like a one sample and the two sample. On the one sample, you have t-test, z-test, and the two sample, you got independent samples, paired samples, and a crew, two group t-test, and a paired t-test, and a c-test is available. So each one we're going to go through. So what is a one sample t-test? Usually for continuous variables, okay? So the sample test of means compare the mean of a sample to a pre-specified value and test for deviation from that value. Okay, so let's look at an example. If the average birth weight of white babies in the uh, United States is like 3,390 grams, we wish to compare the average birth weight of a sample of African American babies to this value. Okay, so you're comparing, um, <clears throat> comparing the means over here. So that's a one sample t test. Okay, now what is the two group t test? It's, like, it's also called unpaired t test. It's the test that compares the means of two unrelated or independent samples. So the thing you have to remember is like two group, that means two independent samples, okay? Let's say you have an example. They are measuring the level of glucose from two independent groups like men and women. Glucose in men versus glucose in uh, women, okay? So where's paired t test? <clears throat> so, it is like it's when you're interested in the difference between two variables in the same subject or same group, okay? Let's say in the example in this, you can say different courses for the same subject on a group of students. That's called a pair t-test. Now, c-test, what is a c-test? Um, it's a statistical test to determine whether two population means are different when the variances are known and the sample size is large. So a z-test is a type of hypothesis test a way to figure out if a result is from a test are valid or repeatable. So when do you use, what is the assumption when you use the C-test? Your sample size has to be greater than 30, number one. Data points should be independent of each other. And the data, just like we said, like all parametric tests should be normally distributed. And data should be like a random data should be there. So all those four assumptions, it should be there to run a C-test, okay? Thank you so much for watching. We'll be back with another presentation soon. Thank you.